I want to demonstrate a beam profile of a transducer. And how do we come up with a beam profile? We use an IOW block. This is an IOW beam calibration block and it's designed to uh, plot the beam spread of your uh, transducer. Your, your transducer isn't a laser beam, it's actually kind of like a flashlight beam and it spreads with divergence, uh, beam divergence as uh, our distance increases. So um, this block is a, a metric block and here's a drawing IOW uh, is 305 millimeters long, 50 millimeters uh, wide and 75 millimeters high and it has eight holes at different depths. 13 millimeter hole, 25 millimeter hole, 19 millimeter down, 43 millimeters down, and then if we flip this block over, we'll see 32 millimeters down, 56 millimeters, 50 millimeters, and 62 millimeters. So you can see that it um, it has eight different depths to depending on which surface you work from. And what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you just a quick demonstration of how to plot your beam spread. And I'm using a two and a quarter megahertz transducer and a 45 degree wedge. And the way we plot these deep, this beam spread is that I'll aim the 45 degree uh, transducer at that 13 millimeter hole and I have the depth of these holes on this chart 13, 19, 25, 32 all the way down to 62 millimeters representing the depth of all the holes. This is a surface distance so your depth is here from 0 to basically 70 millimeters and then your surface distance is from the beam index point to the center of the hole is along this axis. So a 45 degree slices down there uh, at a nice angle. So what we do is I will maximize the uh, signal from that hole that's, I'll start with 13 millimeters, we will maximize that to 100% full screen height and then we will move our transducer in and out, in and out until we get um, a 20 dB drop. 20 dB means when my signal's at 100% I will move until that signal is only at 10% full screen height. Let me demonstrate that for you. As what we'll do is I will mark where it's maximized. Let's look at this guy here. Uh, maybe let me come over from this side. Um, there's that. Let me run this up to 80% full screen height. Right there is, is the 13 millimeter deep hole. And right now I have adjusted to right about 100% full screen height. So what I'm going to do, I maximize at that point. I'm going to mark with my pencil my beam index point. I'm going to mark it right there. That's where my maximum amplitude is. Oops, let me drop this dB just a touch. So I'm sitting about 100%. Now what I want to do is I want to move my transducer forward until this signal is 100% full screen height drops to 10%. So I'm moving them forward, moving them forward, right there. I'm at 10%, that little bitty guy down there. I'm going to mark my beam index point at that. That's my 20 dB drop. Come back, there's my full, um, there's my full beam again, my, my 100%. Now let me pull back and get that to drop to another 10, just 10% or 20 dB drop, and there it is, right about there. I'm sitting about 10% full screen height. Let me mark that. So now I have three marks on this block. My 100% signal moving forward, so I'm catching the top of this um, uh, side drilled hole and dropping it to 20 uh, dB, which is a 10% full screen height. I'm pulling back and I am going to, uh, when I pull back, I'm going to catch the top of that. Sorry, uh, uh, um, I'll catch the, the, uh, the bottom 
of this hole as I pull back and we'll record that. So let me measure in millimeters from my 100% signal, that marking at the beam index point, to when I move forward, it looks like it's about 8 millimeters. So I'm going to come up on this drawing, and on my 13 millimeter depth hole, I want to make a mark at 8 millimeters. And then, let me see from the highest amplitude of when I was pulling back that transducer, Looks like I'm just about, right about 8 millimeters to where I was 100% peak. So let me move 8 millimeters here. 8 millimeters from where uh, that 13 millimeter hole is intersected at 100% uh, full, uh, full screen height. And mark it here. So these two points represent when I move that transducer in, I go from 100% roll down to a 10% full screen height or 20 dB drop and then pulling back I do the same thing. So that's one hole. Let me real quick show you I'm going to just jump to the 25 millimeter hole and uh, just to give you a quick example then I'll show you this uh, transducer and how I plotted it. So 25 millimeter hole right there it is. Let me take him up to 100% full screen height. Let me mark my beam index point because that's where I have my maximum amplitude, my 100% amplitude right at this point here. Now let's move in until I get a 20 dB drop. In, 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 in. Right there it is. That signal is down 20% or excuse me 10% um, full screen height. To the 20 dB drop and there's my beam index point right there. Now let's pull back. I'll see my 100%. Keep pulling back till I'm back down to another 10%. Uh, pulling away. 20 dB drop. Let me mark that right here. My beam index point. And then again, what I'll do is I'll measure these points and put them on this plot. At this time I'm on this 25 millimeter deep hole. So from my beam index point Pulling back, this guy is right about, uh, just about 10 millimeters. So pulling back 10 millimeters, right about there. Oh, excuse me, I'm on the 25, uh, I'm on the 25 uh, millimeter deep hole, right about there. And then let's move, look at this, where I was moving uh, forward towards the hole and look at that and that's about 10 millimeters also so I'll mark 10 millimeters here and we would do that for all eight holes but what you want to do is you want to connect the dots and that basically will show you your beam spread that right there this a little bit sloppy because I did it in a hurry because I'm limited how much time I can have on these videos but let me show you the actual measurements that I made using this block and I did it for a 45 degree which is this guy right here this 45 degree wedge I did 45 same transducer I did uh, a 60 degree and a 70 degree so I used three different angles same transducer and I plotted it out and and I took my time and did a neat job on it but here it is these are the different uh, depth holes this is a two and a quarter megahertz half inch GE uh, serial number 1085 SE 1085 45 degree and see the beam spread that is the center the 45 degrees and then we see the divergence kind of like a flashlight beam that's at 45 degrees now let's take a look at the 60 degree. Here's the same transducer, but 60 degree wedge. Look at that beam spread. See how that at a 60 degree, and it's actually kind of biased. See, as I pull back from the hole, how that beam, how that beam is, is 
It's, it's uh, not proportional like the 45. It's uh, biased out this way. So what they'll do, actually, when you're pulling back, try to through wall size something, it, you probably will oversize it a bit. And then here's the 70 degree, and you can really see the, the beam spread, the divergence on that. Look how far out that is. Matter of fact, it was off the chart, so I, I made another chart here. Excuse me. I find it, and I plot it out. Here it is with a 70 degree because there's a lot of travel with 70 degree. But look, there's the center of the 70 degree beam. This is a divergence. Look at at 62 millimeters deep. Look at that, how, how wide that is. So you can really see the beam profile. It gives you a good idea of what your beam really looks like. And if you want to read up more on it, I suggest that you look at this book here. This is an excellent book. It's written by a uh, British fellow called J.C. Drury. And it's Ultrasonic Flaw Detection for Technicians. Excellent book. A good technician will read this because it is written very well. Um, we're in the average a technician and easily understand it and it's very helpful. And then there's one more thing I want to show you real quick and remember this. This F-pads uh, screen, f frequency, penetration, attenuation, divergence or beam spread, sensitivity, crystal thickness, resolution, wavelength in near field. This is a formula that will get you about 25% of your ASNT questions answered. Up, down, up, down. Remember this and, and it shows a relationship. Frequency of the transducer up, penetration is down, attenuation up, sensitivity up, which is nice for looking at uh, uh, cracks and, and holes. So remember this and, and, and pay attention to it.